Welcome to the Canadian Scrapbooker Magazine web show. My name's Jackie. Do it yourself stencils. Kelly's in the house. Stay tuned. is with us here today to show us how she created this gorgeous soft and subtle stencil like background on this layout down by the sea which is really really pretty Kelly I love it thank you thank you for sharing and I'm just gonna let you go right into showing us exactly what you did there all right well the collection I use the company is called fab scraps and they have a new um, collection called beachcomber and it's just Beautiful. gorgeous look at these papers all this distressed wood gives it a really nice beachy feel and the great thing about fab scraps is they have lots of really cool embellishments that match they do they, do. they have chipboard very nice and they also have stickers right and uh, look at all these pearls. Oh, I haven't seen that yet. That This is their packaging as well? Yes. Oh, nice. Yeah. I haven't seen that. So even some metal embellishments. So. And this metal, I noticed, it's very light. Like yes, it's not the normal. Yes, you can actually bend it a bit. It's pliable, hey? Yes. Very cool. Love that. Fab Scraps comes up with some really neat things. Yeah. So neat. all of these ca uh, came together on the layout. But I'm going to talk about that stenciled background. Okay. And an easy way to make your own stencils is by just using a die like from Spellbinders and that's what I did. I have a die called uh, Vintage Floret or Neat. Flore. And so we're going to get and it's the from Heartfelt Creations. Did you and you right. oh, it also has a coordinating stamp set? Yes, it that does. Comes with it as well. Perfect. So here's the stamps that go with it. Okay, well let's get her what, so, what do you need first? Well, Kelly? I'm going to start out with a piece of super stock and we will get the grand caliber out I will grab and put that the dies you. on there. We're going to put about, let's see, it's like a lot on here okay. and just in, try to fit in as many as you can. They can be close together. Okay. Keep in mind you're making a stencil so you want a little bit of spacing between them. Right. So that's what we're doing right now. We're actually creating a stencil. You're going to leave your the negative. We're going to be using the negative part. Is that what it's called? What's left behind yes. is the negative, and yeah. you'll have the leftover flowers to do with something else if you choose. Yeah. To well, I did add some of the flowers to the layout too. Oh, there you go. Slider in there. I'm going to do this for you because I'm all set up here. Okay. You can hold it. There we go. Slider through. This is what you need. You need a buddy all the time when you scrapbook. Yes, everybody wants a scrapbook with a buddy. Everybody needs a buddy. There you go. I'll move this up back up here. All right. So we take this off and then you pop out your flowers. And that cuts really nicely through the, the super stock. And super stock is 130 pounds, so it's really heavy. You can do so much fun stuff with that super stock. And it also makes it a little bit trickier for you to pull out as well, just because it's so Yeah, heavy. you can take your time pulling it out just so you get all the little pieces out. Oh yeah, I guess that's important to know. Because you're creating a stencil, you don't want to rip. Yes. You, you don't want to pull it out and rip it. Because you, you want, want the interior left. part of the flower exactly. intact. Okay, and now I'll show you um, what I did. I took some chalk ink, my color box. A pedal, pedal point, point. Yes. yes, must have. You know these pedal points are an awesome thing to buy when you're not sure uh, which kind of ink pad to buy and you just want a little sample before you invest into the big stamp pad. So I recommend the pedal points first and then moving on to your favorite bigger ink pads. Anyways, that's my little squirrel, Kelly. Keep going. That's a great idea. So I'm going to use a color called Alabaster. It's pretty light. So then I just place the stencil down and I take my color box chalk ink and it's alabaster. alabaster and I just pounce it over the stencil nice so that the flowers appear and you can actually customize this to any color right that's oh, the cool sure. thing yeah. you can use any color of ink and I wanted it to be quite subtle for that beachy feel right and not be able to really I don't want it to take over the design 
and alabaster is the perfect, I almost think it's like a gesso, like the gesso-like effect when you use the alabaster chalk ink, it just sort of softens. It's actually my go-to color. I have a very, I have the big alabaster ink pad. I use it lots to fix things. Even though there's no mistakes, I still fix things. <laughs> so there, you lift up the stencil. You Perfect. can see some flowers, and you can put them elsewhere. You can put them over here too. Then I take my French blue color box chalk ink and my stamps, which are right over go. here. Do you have uh, our acrylic block here, or do you do it without? Or actually, I'm freestyling. Oh, uh, okay. so I just am going to take the stamp and put it on there. Get some ink and then kind of guess where it's going to go, and I create ah, kind of a get shadow, a soft little shadow effect. Yes, very nice, very soft and elegant, and it's you know what matches beautifully with this Fab Scraps paper. I think it does. Yeah, it looks really pretty. And that's it. That's all there's to it. You just keep stamping and on the stencil nice. until you have everything stamped up, the effect that you want. Yeah, yeah. Really nice. So I have some questions for you. Yes. Um, what did you do? So these are the flowers, so you've just colored so them. So what I did, yeah, is I took the flowers at, uh, from right from the dyes, and I just colored them with more ink. With more ink. And you can use any color, light or dark. I used some of the French blue again, and then some of this aqua. Cool. And then I customized them to that color. All right. And now, Kelly, also, you've got some nice glass beads on this. It, how did you cut this title out with a... Uh, no, is this, that part of this the, is actually Fab Scraps title that's piece. That's actually chipboard. very nice. Yeah, it's Fab Perfect. Scraps as well. I just colored it lightly with white paint and some aqua ink. Mm -hmm. And then I added the glass beads on top. Very nice. Yeah, very same nice. thing with the starfish. It's also Fab Scraps chipboard. It's also a piece of chipboard. Yes. There you go. Cool. Kelly used Fab Scraps patterned paper, chipboard, metal embellishments, and pearls on this fabulous down by the seaside layout. She used heart felt creation stamps along with the coordinating spellbinders dies to create the white stenciled images that are in the background. She used clear snap, color box fluid chalk ink, scrapbook adhesives by 3L 3D foam squares, and the easy runner. The little pearls that you see or glass beads are called Be Creative Sugar Beads. Well, Kelly, thank you so much for showing us how to use stencils or how to create your own stencil, I should say. It really makes your collection of Spellbinders dies. Uh, you can look at it a little bit differently now, just one more way that you can use it. Thank you so much for sharing that with us. Thanks for having me. Until next time, take care and happy scrapbooking.